Hey, this is Ted with Schrader Tree Farm. I just want to talk a little bit about beekeeping 101 and some of the equipment you'll need to get started in beekeeping. Okay, so let's talk through some equipment you're going to need as a basic beekeeper. We have a smoker and you have some different kind of hives, some frames, a bee brush, a hive tool, and for sure you're going to want some kind of equipment coat. Need a smoker. This relaxes the bees, makes them eat a lot of honey so they kind of get lethargic. When you put smoke on them, they think their hive is under attack by fire. So what I like to use is pine straw. If you can find this, this is the best material to make a good smoke. I kind of wad it up. I'll put some like newspaper to, on the bottom to get the fire started and then I'll just wad this up jam it down in there and we'll light the newspaper and that will start the fire. If you, you wanna get this thing packed to the top too and close the lid and then it's got a bellows on the back that's gonna push air in the bottom and then up through the lid. So you also have a brush, which is probably the thing I use the least. But when you have frames and you're trying to process them for, for honey, you can just use the brush and then brush your bees off of your frames. That's the number one use I use it for. Now also, we have different size hives. I have two five frame hives. This is an eight frame. People also use 10 frames. Um, these two they call nucleus colony size boxes. This is one we got from um, a beekeeper that sold us a nucleus colony. It's just a cardboard box. It's just a cardboard box. It holds five frames and they just use that for transportation of bees. Other thing you can get when you're first purchasing your bees is something called a package. And it comes in like a kind of like a mesh crate with a queen. And they can just mail that through through the UPS or USPS to you. You need a hive tool for sure. When you get into your hives, this will help you get um, your frames apart. So you use this to pry back and forth because bees will make a substance that will glue these together. So you can use this to wedge them apart each end. And there's a hook on the end of this one you can use to pull them out. The important thing is to have a suit with some kind of face shield on it. This is the one I like. Um, there's also one that has like a hat type on it. I don't like that because it has a rim. It seems to get in your way when you're doing stuff. Also a nice pair of gloves. I like these because the sleeves are so long. It's got elastic on the uh, wrists so you can't get bees crawling up in there. And it's got a finger, like a finger elastic so you can get it tight over your finger so the sleeves don't slide up. So then when you put your gloves on, you don't lose your sleeves up in the, you know, way up in your glove. I always wear a ball cap too. That helps it when I put my hood on. And that will keep keep the, the mesh on the mask from going on my face. So I always try to wear a ball cap too. And everything zipped up. But this suit has a piece of Velcro that covers my zippers so I can't get bees to where the zippers join. So that's a good thing on this suit. I really like this one. Also, I always wear a pair of really heavy pants. Jeans are fine. Most of the time, bees will come around your head. So there's a few different styles of frames. This one, just if you can see it, this has fishing wire on it. They call this a foundationless frame. And there's two different kinds of uh, wax frames. This is a white um, foundation. That's a black foundation. I like the black foundation because it's easier to see if there is eggs once they build this out. So once they build the comb out, kind of like this, if you look in there, you can see little spots once they've laid eggs in there. And these are a lot easier to find if, if your queen is laying eggs. So after you harvest your honey, this frame was just one that we took out from last season. As you can tell, they didn't completely fill it out, but well, you can scrape all this wax off. I could, we could reuse this right now. We make a lot of candles. We got a little, little two inch candle and a little four inch candle we make, but there's all kinds of different uses. You can also melt this down and you can 
take some frames that need more wax and you can melt it and just kind of brush it on there and then you have a waxed uh, foundation frame. If you have any questions about beekeeping equipment, leave me a comment below and uh, I'll take a look at it and get you a response as soon as I can. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a like if you found this helpful. Subscribe and click the little bell if you want to see some more videos like this one.